Arrest Donald Trump! It's not working. Release the COVID again. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So let's go ahead and check in on the national polls here. Joe Biden versus Donald Trump, both presumptive nominees for the presidency. You can assume that they're going to be the guys both leading pretty, pretty commanding in their respective parties. New national poll here. Uh, let's see. Where is this from? 538. OK, big time leftist pollster. All right. What's it say? Trump, 43 percent. Biden, 38 <gasps> percent. Whoa! Biden is losing by six points in a leb poll, in a leftist poll. What? Look at the data on this thing. Look at the side tabs. Holy schmoly guacamole. This is a nightmare. Better bring COVID back. <laughs> Better bring back COVID. You see, the uh, putting of Donald Trump in jail, well, that's just not doing it for us. In fact, every single time that we put Donald Trump in jail, he goes up in the polls because that proves exactly everything that Donald Trump has been saying about a rigged system uh, his entire political life. And so now, let's see, Tim Pool's account. What do we got here? Ooh, updated 33 minutes ago. National COVID-19 preparedness plan, COVID mandates, just updated, brand spanking new in the White House website. Let's go ahead and look here. Oh, all right. The U.S. government is releasing a national preparedness plan that will enable Americans to move forward safely, sustaining a build, sustaining building on the progress we've made in the last 13 months. Oh, yeah, baby. We got new goals for the president's plan. Continue to vaccinate the world. <laughs> That's a goal. There you go. Goal number one. And goal number four. Protect against uh, COVID-19 with vaccinations. Prepare for new variants. Prevent economic and educational shutdowns. Oh, got it. Okay, got it. You need to throw, throw one of those in there. It's always the opposite of what they say. They want economic shutdowns. They want education shutdowns. They want full control. Notice how vaccines are on uh, number one and number four. And there you go. First thing you see is, va is vaccines. Oh, man. Baby, they're going in. They're doing it. They're going in. They're going to try for COVID panic 5.0, 20.0. I don't know. How many How many of them are have we been through right now? How many variants have we been through in this disease that you paid for with your taxpayers' money from the labs in Wuhan? It is now indisputable. We have the documents. The NIH funded gain-of-function research in China and then covered up what they were doing. We now know it. And Fauci has been criminally referred. You ready for COVID 2.0? It was very, very convenient. COVID 1.0, you see. Because what it did is it was the lever to push the Republican legislatures in Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania and Georgia into mail-in balloting. Because, of course, you can't, if you can't be together in a supermarket, you certainly can't vote together. Every old person needs to, like, mail in their ballots, right? Well, get ready. Hollywood, of course, the people who are always on the front lines of this kind of psyop, psyop, psyops everywhere, are bringing back mask mandates. Lionsgate, pretty big studio there, which makes Saw and Hunger Game franchises, asks its office staff to don face mask coverings and test again as COVID hospital rates rise for the fifth week. Get ready. So they start, they start with places like the entertainment industry, right? This was... This was all of the, uh, the there's uh, like Andrew Garfield, right? There you go. Everyone wearing masks, everyone wearing face shields. Here's their little graphs again. Here's their little variant levels again. Oh no, it's uh, it's ticking up 10%, 5%. Yep. And more importantly, the federal government has started to begin their planning of buying COVID-19 equipment and hiring pandemic safety enforcers again. Get ready, check it out. This is from Natalie Winters. The government is rolling out contracts for enforcing COVID-19 mandates, otherwise known as safety protocols. Oh yeah, you can see here from the uh, federal government's hiring uh, protocols. 
Oh, yeah. The General Service Administrations are asking for new COVID-19 contracts. Oh, man. Are you ready? They're going to do it. They're going to try it again. They're going to try it again. The fear election. Lauren Boebert saying, I keep hearing whispers of COVID-19 restrictions coming back. Nope, not going to happen. We aren't complying with that. Jack Posobiec saying, amazing how COVID's back just as Trump is up in the polls. What are the odds? Uh, Where I am locally, I live in Tampa, Florida. Where I am locally, you're seeing scaremongering local headlines. North Texas sees an increase in COVID-19 infections. (gasps) Tampa Bay stores are out of COVID test kits. Oh, as cases uptick in Florida. (laughs) Scaremongering happening. And of course, what do we say? What do we always say? They'll go through the education systems. What are the... It's cultural communism, right? So the cultural communists are always out for, to grab more power. They grabbed a lot of it during COVID 1.0, and now they're going to try it again with COVID 20.0. And so what are, the, what are they doing here, okay? They're going to use cultural communists. They, for, they say, screw the working class. Karl Marx said, go after the working class. Cultural communists say, screw the working class. They're, they're, those people are the Trump supporters. We're going to go after our people which is the intelligentsia, the overeducated, the people who are running the Hollywood studios, the people who we have on tape on Epstein Island, right, that are totally controllable, and we're going to go after the higher education institutions inside of our co- complete capture. And so Atlanta-based Morris Brown College says they are reinstating COVID mask mandates. Oh, yeah, baby, check this out. So you got Hollywood on your side, and you got the education system on your side. There's your headlines. August 20th, 2023, this week. Greetings, faculty and staff. Effective immediately, Morris Brown College has reinstated its COVID-19 mask mandate due to reports of positive cases among students. Oh, man. (laughs) Mask wearing. All students are required to wear face masks. You've never seen this stuff. It's like watching a dinosaur. It's like being in Jurassic Park, like watching a dinosaur brought back to life. Physical distancing. Large gatherings will not be allowed. Isolation and quarantine. Contact tracing. Symptoms monitoring. Hand washing. Get ready. They're bringing it back, baby. And of course, if Scott Gottlieb, the Pfizer board member, is being trotted at back out, the greasy scumbag Pfizer board member, former FDA commissioner, is being trotted back out to scaremonger about COVID. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Get ready. People are about to make a ton more money. You know, Pfizer stock and Moderna stock and the big pharma stocks are down like 98%. What do you think was going to happen? Us as an American people need to say no. Say no to the scaremongering. Say no to the fearmongering. Say no to the psyops and the mind control. Live a life of hard data. And open your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming back. They're coming back. It's the reunion, the COVID reunion tour. Are you prepared? They're getting desperate. This does certainly seem like a controlled demolition. This certainly does seem like people that are in full and total panic right now. Don't join them in the panic, okay? Keep your head on a swivel, keep your eyes open, and more importantly, your mind open. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to End Communism, COVIDism. See ya.